What's down here? Pain, suffering, and hopefully less skeletons. I think each area changes at the fifth floor. That's not good. Wait a minute. Oh, it's because it took my strength down. Oh, you butts. We're kicking things in the face now. I need a short bow. <laughs> I'll be back for you guys in just a minute. <laughs> I know we had a short bow up here somewhere. Oh, God. I think it was in Layark's tomb. How, that... Mm. <laughs> oh, Lord. Uh, changes every fifth floor, and every fifth floor has a shortcut to town. Yep. So we had a short bow in here. I can guarantee you we had a short bow in here. Just questioning where it is. There's a short sword. I mean, it's better than punching things. The club. There's a scroll of Inferno. Sure, I'll take that. I could have sworn we had a short bow in here. There it is. We now have a short bow. A weapon we can use. Until we get a level up. <laughs> it's something. It, 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 it's something. Like I said, it's better than kicking things in the face. We also have the magic short sword. That I might just use temporarily as well. Until we get one level up and get our strength back up to use a better bow. That's sad. Ah, uh, I feel kind of bad about that one. I was like, oh, it's fine. It's just one point in strength. No, <laughs> I forgot that our bows take strength too. Funnily enough, they even like doubled down on that. Doubled down on that in Diablo 2. With like the Hydra bow taking a decent chunk of strength. These guys are real irritating because they'll just run in circles until they finally decide to come to you. Not quite the plot twist you're expecting. I forgot how to use my mole because I touched the shrine. <laughs> like, what? No! Just because you touch a religious oracle does not mean you forget how to use a bow. The string goes backwards. <laughs> what? That's a nice little book thing in there. Okay, we do have an Inferno Scroll, which we'll probably end up using. That is going to be a long journey down to that. We have door up there, which we're going to... Oh, great. It's a loop around. Lovely. But we have to go through the door. We have one path. another shrine. Ought to be another mysterious... It is another mysterious shrine. Do we risk it? They should have just made it where you can still use the bow, but there's a chance you'll hit yourself. <laughs> just like, plonk. <laughs> Ow. Okay, some are weakened as one goes stronger. We lost more strength, magic. Uh, this time we lost one vitality, but we got dexterity from it, so yay. I think we did. Or did we get magic from it? No, we lost magic and strength for sure. Yeah, we got dexterity from this one. Okay. Those mysterious shrines. They are a net game. I just need to keep telling myself that. Ooh, and we got the book. The Great Conflict. That's how it delivered lore in this game, for those of you wondering. Which is awesome, in my opinion. I like finding books in the wild.
And I forget if we're going to find Garbad the Weak in this one. I forget which quest he's tied to. We've got a book. Oh, I can't stand there and read it while we have guys coming towards us. We'll, we'll read it in a minute. Bye, Blinks. I love that killing Blinks makes the Fallen actually run away, too. Come on. Give me some less enemies so we can actually read the book. I'm really surprised we have not found a Holy Bolt yet. Usually I find it within the first three floors. You just shoot at where they're going and not where they are. Oh no, we're breaking our bow. Take heed and bear witness to the truths that lie herein. For they are the last legacy of the Haradrim. There is a war that rages on even now, beyond the fields that we know, between the utopian kingdoms of the high heavens and the chaotic pits of the burning hells. This war is known as the Great Conflict, and it has raged and burned longer than any of the stars in the sky. Neither side ever gains sway for long, as the forces of light and darkness constantly vie for control over all creation. What's nice, and yeah, it does, you can't find them all in one playthrough on here. But on the PlayStation version, they actually just have a whole codex in the options that you can watch, which is kind of handy. Okay, so we have the heal. Let's go ahead and take that. How close are we to leveling up? Not very. It's going to be a tough one. I would love to be able to press alt and see what's on the ground. I don't think we're close enough to make it so that the bow lasts us until we level up. Especially whenever I'm missing so many of my shots. And I keep, for some reason, keep expecting Tainteds to show up from Diablo 2. I know that they're not in this game, but I keep expecting it. And that's really stupid, but... And I do actually like how the more you kill of something, the more you learn about it. Like, these guys we have very little information on because we've only killed six of them. We're about to break this. Can you stop running in circles, you little shit nugget? Please, thank you. As he's using up my bow durability. We're going to break against this guy. Come on. I'm not chasing you to the cor three corners of hell. That's for your boss only. Yeah, we're definitely not leveling up before this breaks. But we'll just get two strength, two dexterity. I mean, two strength... Hmm. Yeah, two strength, two magic, just to get those rounded up. We should be at one durability on this. No, we're at two. Uh huh. I have a few more shots. The Time Sweeper, where he made his debut. I actually don't know what that is a reference to, sadly. Oh, yep, it's Ogden's sign. Lovely. Oh, he interrupted me using a scroll? Ye you get. Character-wise, yeah, that's definitely not enough. So I guess we have to go to town and get ourselves a new bow. <laughs> or repair this one. The last until we actually get our level up. OG Xbox title, Binks the Time Sweeper. I have never heard of it. I didn't... Whoa, I what actually, what was he you? talking to me about? I'm still waiting for you to bring me that stone from the heavens. I know that I can make something powerful out of it. Magic stone. It just gets us a random magic item, doesn't it? Or does? It, oh no, it gets us a ring. I think. Back. Uh, go ahead and repair. Yep, repair everything. 
Except for the short sword. Sur short sword can go to short hell. Silver sword, grand armor, helm of the moon, plus five all attributes. We're not strong enough to use it, but it could actually be semi-useful, but we have leech right now. I'll have to look up that uh, that uh, game. What ails you, my friend? I wasn't huge on Xbox, for those of you wondering. And I'm going to drink both of those just to kind of top us off a little bit. Pretty good game, pretty difficult puzzle platformer. Ah. The village needs your help, good master. Some months ago, King Leoric's son, Prince Albert, was kidnapped. The king went into a rage and scoured the village for his I mean, we've already done this quest, my dude. With each passing day, Leoric seemed to slip deeper into madness. He sought to blame innocent townsfolk for the boy's disappearance and had them brutally executed. Less the curse of our king is past, but I fear that it was only part of a greater evil at work. However, we may yet be saved from the... Is he going to give me the sign one? I have a strange experience to relate. Stolen I sign. You have a great knowledge of those monstrosities that inhabit the labyrinth. And this is something that I cannot understand for the very long... They stole his sign. <laughs> I don't know why they stole his sign. It's just kind of what it is, but it's fine. It's okay. I mean, I know where it is. Where these guys are. And if we can get into their doorway, we can just shoot them all. I think Magic Stone is further down. I mean, we're going to cover every square inch of this place, so... It's not going to hurt to just kind of explore. Come on, big Chungus. These guys always looked like the Butcher to me. I can't open this yet. I can't open this yet. I think we get ambushed in here. Whenever we come into this room. There he is. Snot spill! That kill all. You get me magic banner or we attack. You know live with life. You kill big uglies and give back magic. Go past. We already killed the big uglies. We have to kill more big uglies. <laughs> so now we can actually do it. Xbox is how you manage to find out about both of the Otagi games. Yeah, those I've heard are really, really good. So. How is. Uh, this is actually just a random question that you'll probably know more about. How is, um, oh, my brain just completely shut down. How is Xbox emulation right now? There we go. <laughs> Ba -da -da -da. Your brain needs to reboot for an update. <laughs> you give? Yes, good. Now we kill all with big magic. Okay, I run outside right in front of the door and kill you all one by one. Oh, that was a ring. So they are dropping good stuff for me. Where is it? There. Oh, no, it was an amulet. Sweet. It was a jewelry noise. So now I can flash whatever's left in there. Emulation of Xbox consoles, like uh, 360 and the original, specifically. Because I have most of the games that I really want to play on them for the channel, but... I am curious, because it would be easier for me to record on PC, it's just a matter of... If it's not... If emulation's not up to par, I'll just play it off the original hardware. With all the inconsistencies and lack of save states. Okay, so we have a Book of Inferno. Sure, we'll just read it. It's down to level five. Don't want to do it just yet.
because I know that you've been covering emulation on the Xbox. And so far, it looks like it's going mostly pretty well. <laughs> With only a few game, a handful of games having like issues. That's up that way. I'm going to go ahead and go through this door. We'll clear it. Can I walk? Please, thank you. There we go. Potion of Mana. There's Zemu Xbox, which seems to have pretty good compatibility with Xenia, which is definitely a much better place. Um... What does your system have? It's an i7-7700K with a GTX 1080 Ti. And I can't afford to upgrade anytime soon, otherwise I would. <laughs> Level up. Two strength, two magic. Um, we'll go one dexterity. I'm less concerned about the vitality being nice and round. Ah, feels good to have a real bow again. Yay! It feels so good. <laughs> On processes. Uh, it's been going better than expected. You do keep getting requests for GBA and SNES, though. I mean, honestly, and this is going to be a, a, a weird thing, I'd go ahead and do it. I mean, you already know that it's going to work just fine. But it's a matter of, like, they, they want to view it, so might as well... Give them a little bite of what they're wanting. There's a lot of flesh clans. If I'm having trouble with flesh clans, we're going to have a lot of trouble with the fire clans, which are just a couple floors down. Well, a floor down, actually, now that I think about it. Hey, scroll of identify. We could actually identify our um, amulet. Well, it's giving me all the scrolls in the world. I'm kind of hoping some of these would be books. Are there any more guys in here? Nah, we do have... have no room. I don't care about the broad axe. What's this? Book of Lightning? Very, very frightening, Galileo. Okay, so we have Identify. Absorbs half trap damage. I mean, it's better than a sharp stick in the eye. Infravision is fun. Hyena's stat... Okay, you. Well, that's garbage now. That was a cursed item. Yay! Mana shield is super powerful in this. Uh, it's just we all know that GBA SNES could run on a pacemaker at this point. Yeah, well, I'm not sure about pacemaker. Do 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 do. <laughs> uh, but yeah, more complex to emulate without inconsistencies. Yeah, I understand. Although for me, I kind of actually want to cover some like more esoteric SNES games and stuff like that. I want to do a Bahamut pl a Lagoon playthrough, because it's been forever since I did it. And it's one of the few, like, SNES games that I actually bothered to import. Because I enjoyed it enough to do that. Which I know some people will disagree with, but... Seriously, you can play Famicom games on a Super Nintendo from the US. Because they're both... Uh, NTSJ. Just plug it into it and it runs. You just gotta make sure that the shell doesn't interfere with the original shell. And there's plenty of mods for that. Whether it's just chopping up your Super Nintendo or... It's one reason why I wish I had a 3D printer. I would totally make like a replacement top shell for a Super Nintendo that could accept both. Erotic. Erotic games for Super Nintendo. I don't... I'm trying to think if there were any erotic games for Super Nintendo. I know there were for Atari. But... I'm not like a master of that type of game. Um... 
I'll open that in a minute. Okay, so this needs to be... I don't want lightning. This is very, very frightening. I'm going to make that joke every single time I see it. Just in case anyone's really curious about just how dad my jokes are. <laughs> and it doesn't matter whether it's in my inventory or it's somewhere else. I will make that joke. Just one is, is you and you, one is Jay. Yep. They, they'll work on the system. Because it's literally, it plays the same way. It's just, yeah, the shape of the shell. The most erotic system. Atari, where people rubbing pixels together. What's funny? Okay. Oh, I'm for, trying to remember her name on YouTube. Ah, crap. That's going to bother me now. But anyway, there's a lady f who does um, classic kind of game reviews. And she's had so many Atari videos taken down because of that. Um, oh, she's a friend with Nerd Cubed. But she's relatively small herself. She's about the same size of a channel as I am. So it's kind of like... Mm, I just can't remember her name right now. I know that she's basically gotten to just streaming videos of her chatting and playing with her rats, but... On Twitch, that is. Moonbender. Cheeky little bastard. These guys have the most annoying noises. But yeah, there were there were a lot of like erotic games on Atari, and they are so stupidly sad. But yeah, she got demonetized for, like, showing a blurred-out version of, um, well, she didn't get demonetized. Ads were limited, put it that way. And she actually got a community strike for one of them for showing pixelated, pixelated scenes from those games. It's like, what? <laughs> they are double pixelated. They have, like, five pixels to begin with. <laughs> And they've been further pixelated. <laughs> Why? Why, YouTube? There are way worse things happening on your platform than that. <laughs> uh, it, it's sad. But any hoozle. <laughs> Before I go on a whole YouTube is rant. Ow. That actually that amulet actually functions. Because I know in a lot of games from this era, things it says don't always equate to things it does. Okay, so we've got more gold. What do the kids see? They'll know what it's meant to be. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Oh no, I don't have enough magic to use a fireball scroll. There we go. What do I have waiting for? Oh, yeah, we have that bookcase. That is actually looped all the way down at the bottom. But Let's go ahead and get this one first. Yes, there is more than one bookcase. Hey, reju... Oh, it's a full rejuve. That goes there. Don't panic drink it, but charge bolt, we'll just go ahead and read. Another charge bolt. It's just giving it now gave us three charge bolts, fine. What was the scroll? And a shield, okay. It just gave us all the charge bolt things, so. Um, which one's... Uh, Blue Dragon was one of them. Ow. Just think Xbox RPGs. And that's pretty... Oh, we've got Glowy Boy there. 
Okay, so let's get right in front of the door. Yeah, Blue Dragon is the first one coming to mind. There was the one made by the Final Fantasy devs that's not Final Fantasy. Um, something un... No, Infinite Undiscovery or something like that. Oh, it's Garbad! Hi, Garbad! How you doing, Garbad? Hopefully not too bad, Garbad. I love Garbad. <laughs> Please, no hurt. And he's always he always gives you the shittiest magic item. I swear to God. <laughs> Blue Dragon, Lost Odyssey, Magna Carta Two, Infinite Undiscovery. Yeah, those are the main ones. I mean, I have all of them on, like, physical media, so I can cover them regardless. But yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> that's that's the list. <laughs> Come back to Garbad in a minute. But yeah, Blue Dragon... If I remember correctly, Akira Toriyama worked on that. Um, Infinite Undiscovery has Final Fantasy pedigree. Uh, Magna Carta is just... The sequel to Magna Carta 1, which both games people unfortunately do not know much about, which is one reason why I want to play them and I want to see if more than just like my first impressions of them were true, because I've only played a little bit of Magna Carta. I haven't played the Magna Carta 2 disc other than to make sure it works. Okay, so we've got that. Got down there to do. Are bad the week? Why? I hate that I have to wander around for a bit for him to give me stuff. Second, switching ears on my earbuds. Ah. Magna Carta 3 as the first game was Korea exclusive. Ah. I didn't know that. All I know is about the two that were released in English. Oh, it's a couple fallen. Sweet. What did you drop for me? A longbow. Probably can't use that. Yeah, it requires 25 strength. So I definitely need more strength. And actually, let's swap those out so I have the one that has full durability. Ooh, magic quilted armor. Ah, uh, do we have another scroll of identify? Yes. Resist all. Um, yeah. That's going to be a little bit better than what we have. It's got better armor, better durability, and it's got resistances. Yay. Since all the games listed are as status gameplay. <laughs> I don't mind using real hardware. I actually have one of the Xboxes that has HDMI out, so it's it's not a pain to do. Same for Xbox 360. But I was just curious. So we I think we have cleared the entire floor. And I forget Garbad's triggers, but we'll figure them out. I think we just have to lose sight of him. But I could be wrong. When it comes to a lot of games, you know way too much. Uh, your gaming wiki with the amount of useless crap you know, pretty close to the truth. Ah. Uh, I, I'm a gaming wiki about specific games. Composite bow? Garbad, you are actually being semi-useful here. Let's go ahead and town portal up. I'm going to sell some stuff, and I'm going to take that bow. Let's see. Well, what can I do for you? Sell items. Alshin goes away. Cap of health goes away. 
Cape of Health, sorry. Longbow... Actually, I think we're going to get rid of the longbow as well, because we're getting that composite bow. I really wish Uniques were indestructible. What made me return to the grandfather of action RPGs? Of loot-based isometric action RPGs? Just whim. And how's it going, Ripflex? So, yeah, we do have another scroll of identify. Pearl Bow of Power. That will actually be handy. We need the strength for it, but that'll be handy. We're slowly upgrading our gear. <laughs> slowly being the key word. Something for you. Something for you. I am begging. Can I just kill you, please? I know you'll attack me at the end, my dude. We'll come back to Garbad in a minute. Let's go find the stairs to unlock the catacombs.